Oh, very nice. All right, can you hear me? Yes. That's, yes. All right, everything looks and sounds great. Uh, what is your name and what are you studying? My name is Patrick Akers. I am studying material science at University of Wisconsin. And uh, I'm excited to have Patrick on because we went to the same high school. Yes, sir. Uh, shout out to Libertyville High School in Libertyville, Illinois. Uh, you play for Wisconsin. I'm excited to chat a little bit about Wisconsin because, among many things, you guys are the reigning national champions. Yep. Although I haven't gotten to watch very many of your games because you've been over there. You've <laughs> been, your, your court has been hiding away from our cameras. So tell me about your tournament. Uh, what, what has gone on with you guys? How did pool play go yesterday? Pool play has gone great. So far, have not dropped a set. Wow. Um, yeah, we're definitely we're pushing through. We've been down late in a, many games, but um, you know we're we're not taking a first set win for granted, and we're going through and, and making sure to secure wins in two each time. So let's see. You beat Chico State yesterday. You beat USC and you beat Virginia. I, I saw Virginia earlier. That team was good. Yeah, they, so, they were uh, very good. It must have been a rock solid match. Then who is your power pool? Utah Valley and UC Santa Barbara. Yeah. UC Santa Barbara is good as well. Yes. Okay, so you guys are feeling pretty good. Um, I was looking at a lot of the power pool results, and I was noticing that I think you guys and maybe Illinois might be the only Big Ten teams to make gold tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. That was I, – I think that's very different from uh, from last year. I'm very different yeah. from a lot of years. Like, uh, I mean, I played in the Big Ten forever ago, and we had five or six teams in gold a lot of years. Uh, so and, and that includes Ohio State, who lost this morning. They got upset in a challenge match this morning. So what's uh, – Give me kind of the vibe around the Big Ten this season. Uh, how, like, tell me about the round robin. Tell me about the championships. I guess like Mivas, because uh, I wasn't at these things, and the people who are hearing might be interested about what's going on in the Midwest. Yeah, I mean, I think the competition's as strong as ever. I think um, you know a lot of the Big Ten teams kind of one-off games. Um, it's tough. I mean, nationals, anything can happen. 100%. Um, very much like you know our Mar March Madness going on. A lot of upsets. A lot of you know stuff going on with that. So. Um, yeah, I think they're still I, – I, I don't think it's a reflection on them as a team for the season. But, yeah, definitely some tough losses, yeah. some tough upsets for sure. Yeah, I know Ohio State was real good. They won the Big Ten and the Mevo. Yes. And that is the chaos <laughs> of nationals. Because last year when you guys won, do you know what you were seeded coming in? It wasn't overwhelmingly high. No. And you guys made a miraculous run to the national yeah. championship game, and you saw Illinois, a conference rival, and you beat them and then won a title, which is kind of the beauty of this tournament. So how has that affected your team this year? Is, does it feel any different than previously having won a national championship the year before? Um, I definitely think going uh, towards the start of the season, a lot of expectations, a lot of confidence going in. Um, we definitely had some humbling experiences first semester that – I think really helped shape us mentally. I think we're as strong as ever going into this tournament. Um, we dealt with some adversity and kind of overcame it. And I think now um, we're really able to push through. And, and like our record right now suggests, you know, we're pushing through. We're late, down late in the second set, and we're still, we're still getting the, the win. So, well, uh, tell me about coming back down from late in the second set. Is that against UCSB just now? Yes, UCSB, um, and I guess. To our, our definition of down late in the second set has also changed a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's it's probably a little bit closer, but we treat it you know like it's it's championship point. Especially uh, now that we definitely have had a target on our back this whole season, being the previous national champions, um, we can't you know take any team making mistakes, anything like that for granted because teams really show up and, and want to sure. beat us. You said your setter got a stuff block to win the match. Yes, yes, that was spectacular. Um, shout out to Thomas Oshalik. Uh, He's just an absolute specimen, beautiful gentleman, great <laughs> player on the court. Love it. Uh, and so it's, it's cool to hear this sort of feedback from you about the, the balance between the confidence you get from winning a national championship versus the expectations the following year. Because I talked to the USC women yesterday morning, and it was the exact same thing from them because they won the national championship last year also against a rival they beat UCLA you guys beat Illinois and they uh, had a lot of similar stuff to say about building a team this year that is a little bit different but still has you can draw on the experiences of making that run without perhaps letting too much confidence come in about having made that run last year so uh, how different is this year's team like roster wise who did you lose from last year who did you bring in this year like well, how much turnover was there for you guys compared to last year's team 
Yeah, there, there was a definitely a decent amount of turnover. Um, we have a lot of players moving up from the B team last year to this team this year. Sign of a good program. Yes, yeah, and we had a very strong B team last year, so there was no apprehension about that at all. Um, we lost uh, a very good right side from last year. He, I think, won like tournament MVP of nationals. He was very good, um, but we replaced him with, I would say, arguably almost just as good. You know, right sides. We very strong, um, very. They, they got that dog in them. Hey, hey, yes. Hey. yes. <laughs> so. so you guys are ready to go. Uh, so you yeah. get to await whoever your gold bracket matchup is tomorrow and then uh, potentially uh, walk a couple blocks down the street and play in a pretty cool arena. And yes. So you guys will be familiar with an atmosphere similar to that. But this arena, I can tell you, because we're about to go set up the, our broadcast in there for tomorrow, it's bigger than better than any NCBF in history. That is awesome. Get ready. Looking forward to it, for sure. So uh, congratulations. Go get some rest. Thank you. Get ready for, uh, for a championship Saturday run tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we see Wisconsin in the final again. And uh, shout out to Libertyville High School. <laughs> shout Pro out to Libertyville. Produces some pretty good college club players. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Thank good luck tomorrow. Much. We appreciate it.